guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review and I decided that I'm going to start a lot more makeup product reviews because I know that they are very helpful to some people and I know that personally whenever I go out and buy any sort of makeup, I always look for reviews and I kind of want to be like your go-to review channel and also I do a lot of tutorials so I think it would be awesome if I could do a review on most of the products that I use in tutorials. So today's product that I'm reviewing is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this is their original formula oil free foundation primer it has it's not like their tone correcting one it's not their dark spot treatment one it's just their original you know right off the bat photo finish primer also I'm, I know I might get a couple questions about this this is not meant for your eyes um, this is just meant for your face. And first off, a little background knowledge about my skin is that it's um, not oily. I don't know why I said oily. It's not oily. It is normal to dry, and I have a skincare routine, which I'll link down below, in case you guys are interested in any of the products that I use on a daily basis. Um, so that will be linked down below. And I got this primer because I ran out of two other of my primers, and overall, this is a very nice primer. Like, I tested this product out, so I had a list of things that I want to talk to you guys about, the pros and cons, the price, um, where you can buy it, everything that I mentioned that can have a link will be linked down so First below. off, I started using this primer about, I want to say maybe July or August I started using it, and since then, I have not noticed that big of a difference from my Palladio Herbal Foundation primer. That one is about $11 and this one is a $36 primer. So it's pretty expensive for a primer and it is somewhat of an investment for something that you're probably going to need to throw out in three months. So primers last about three to four months on a daily use, which is a good amount of time if you're using a product every single day. And this is only one fluid ounce. Um, that's 30 milliliters, if anyone's wondering. That sounds really high, but I don't really know anything about milliliters. And the shelf life of this is about one year. So if you don't use it every single day, that's fine. You have about a year, and then you need to throw it away and get another one. I mean, overall, it's a very nice product, and it will last you quite some time. Personally, I think that this is a very overpriced product. I do like Smashbox products, but this personally is just a little bit overpriced. I think that you're paying for the label Smashbox because like I said before, my Palladio one did pretty much the same job and that was a lot more inexpensive. Some good things about this primer is that when you apply it onto your face, it feels like silk, which is really, really nice because I have used a primer in the past that was very oily feeling when I put it on my skin. This also really gets into your pores. It creates a layer of difference between your moisturizer and your foundation, which is really nice to have so it doesn't clog up your pores. So this really just gets in there and seals a layer on them, but you also can't see it on your skin because this is a translucent primer. This does not have any oily residue whatsoever on your face, which is absolutely amazing. I really do like that aspect of it. Also, like I said, I have normal to dry skin, and now that it's transition, tran I can't talk. Since it's transitioning into the winter months, my skin is becoming a little bit more dry, and this still hydrates it even without any oils. The only thing is that this does make your hands very slippery if you do apply it with your fingers, which I do. Um, in this video, I will not demonstrate how I put it on because it's just a primer and it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I will link my foundation routine down below. And that's my very first step that I do. I use this primer and I show you exactly what it looks like and how I apply it. And I've done that every single day since I've had this. This really does help makeup glide on very smoothly. I know that whenever I don't use this primer, I feel like my makeup just kind of gets stuck wherever I put it. So this really helps distribute, distribute it very evenly and firmly. This primer is not too thick and it's also not too thin when you apply it onto your face. The one thing that I do have to say is that you can feel it when you first put it on. That goes away after about two minutes of having it on your face. But it's also not too thin where you don't feel like you have anything on and feel like you're just wasting a $36 product because you can't feel it on your skin. Um, but the thing with a primer like this is that you shouldn't feel it. So it's thin, but it's not... Thick. Do you know what I mean? It's like right in between. It's the perfect amount. Whenever I do use this, however, I'm going to be straight up honest here. I do not notice a huge difference in my makeup lasting longer. I did a test where I did 
half of my makeup with the primer and then half of my makeup without a primer. And the only difference is that this side, this side had no primer. This side had a little tiny bit of um, smile lines right here, which really annoys me. I hate smile lines because then it looks like I'd have like this weird thing going on right here. It also increased a little tiny bit right around my nose. So if that bothers you, you might want to go ahead and pick up a primer, but I don't think this primer will be necessary for those little reasons. But overall, the staying power of this compared to a different primer wasn't outrageously huge. The other thing that really bothers me about this primer is that you have to use a pretty large amount of it to evenly cover your face. I have a rather small face as it is, and for me to have to use a pretty big amount, when I say a pretty big amount, I mean a pea-sized amount, and it might not seem like a lot, but if you're buying a $36 product and it's only one fluid ounce, you kind of want to use a little bit less of the last longer so you don't have to go out and repurchase a $36 product. When I was using this primer, I wasn't the biggest fan of it because of the price. When I started reviewing it and really looking at the basics, I realized that it was a very, very nice product, but I definitely think that you can find a cheaper alternative. But overall, I think it's a very nice product, but I don't think that you need to go out and buy the money. There is definitely other ones on the market that are better and for a more inexpensive price. So I hope you guys all found this helpful, and I'll talk to you very soon.